Police cars pulled up to Meadowbrook Apartments in northeast Pullman this afternoon. Residents were stunned when they saw police with guns drawn surround the complex, start peeking into windows, and then first creep, and then run up the staircase. We responded to a report of, a, of an adult male, uh, college age, that was acting bizarrely, and some of the behavior was throwing belongings, uh, we assume his belongings, out onto the yard from a balcony, and at one point we were told that he was uh, that he had a knife in his hand. The man they were seeking was Pullman City Council member Derek Skog. We uh, went into the apartment and basically he locked himself in the bathroom and we just had a dialogue through the door for what seemed like a long, long time and then he finally agreed to come out. Witnesses told Murrow News 8 Skog was acting bizarrely as he took out a knife and put it in the fridge. Last night, police received reports Skog was throwing furniture around in his apartment and off the balcony. Skog also posted numerous Facebook posts regarding the government shutdown. He wrote, quote, I'm leaving. It's over. Goodbye. After numerous calls and complaints, police responded to take him into protective custody. But ultimately, it's a welfare check, and it looked to me as if he needed some professional help, and so we took him into what we call protective custody, which we're allowed to do. Skog was transported to Pullman Regional Hospital, where doctors will now decide the next step. For Murrow News 8, I'm Rachel Trost.